of Lance Studio 2 Austin 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 and today I don't even know what I'm doing in that video. I wanted to show you how to burn home videos from iMovie to iDVD. Is once you have everything ready and once you have everything dated, you click share and you click iDVD. It'll uh, prepare it and it'll tell you how long it's going to take. Mine, it's going to take, sometimes it takes longer than 20 minutes. It really depends. I'm going to jump cut and I'll be right back. After like... 30 to 40 minutes. Here we have the iDVD project. So first I'm going to show you how to rename your movie. This right here is your title. So you double click, you'll be able to rename it. Backspace, so it's Sunshine's Videos. Mm -hmm. I can't type. Scoot over here. All I, what I did for that is I clicked and dragged. You can double click for that too, backspace, and then what I do usually is this. And I, after a long time of burning at least 20 DVDs, you learn a little bit. So you gotta make sure it's the right format, you gotta make sure it's the right formatting. So what you gotta do is you go over here to project, and you click project info, this is the project info window. And it takes you to this. You can rename it, so I just I just leave it as it is, whatever I named it when I exported it, which was videos. So make sure your video mode is not PAL. It depends on where you live, but I usually do this. And then it says, changing the TV standard will require IDV to encode all previous encoded sets again. So you just click OK. Then you can change it from widescreen to standard. I usually keep it widescreen because that's just the way our TV works. Now your encoding over here, it affects your quality. If you want pretty good quality, you do best performance and that's what I use most of the time. When you first start your disc, you want it to not play automatically. You want to be able to click the button. Click this and this shows your layout or your, you know what's going to happen. So I usually take this and I drag out so that deleted when it first started up. So it'll take you to the main menu and then it'll play, you know, once you click the button. Now, what I usually do is I click this, the inspector window, and I make the background play with a certain music and make it a certain duration, so now I can, it's a minute and four seconds. Well, this isn't going to play, I mean it can, but it's not really going to play well without good music. So I go through here, and I find my Mario music, so I, let's say, click this one, click and drag that over here. If you click spacebar, it'll play. And again, it puts it to like 15 minutes. So I don't want it 15 minutes because that's going to like take up some of the space we looked at. It's not going to go with the project info window. So you can drag this, click and drag that to like a minute or however long you want it. Warning, it does take up space so I would be careful how long you put that. So when you're ready to burn your disc and make sure you've like checked everything 60 billion times, not really, just like three times, you click this little button right here. And if you want to get a DVD to burn stuff on, like I said, to go to Walmart or I bet Target has them. Wait for a second because sometimes it's a little weird. So once that's done, I'll come back and show you if the DVD works or not. Okay, it's done and this is what it popped up. So we're like done. All right, here we go. So this is what it looks like. I put it into the iMac instead of the TV or anything, but TV is a little different. So you click here or if you're on the TV, you do yeah. something else. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. So you got your uh, home video or whatever that you burn to your DVD. Thank you guys for watching this um, iDVD tutorial thing, Bob. And I'll see you guys later.